Hello and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Now after I did the thrust tests on the 5 inch propellers last time, uh, people have said, gosh, what about when you're just hovering? What about the efficiencies of these motors when you're not actually running them at full throttle? So I'm going to do some more tests here. I'm going to run up the little motor here with the various props to about 150 grams of thrust because the average mini quad weighs say roughly 600 grams so if we have four motors 150 grams of thrust each that should be hovering level so let's uh, let's see how it works out i'll just set that to zero and we'll uh, start testing these props let's start with the gem fan 53 and see how that works out And just for fun, let's try generic 6 by 4.5 with 150 grams of thrust. Well, we learned some pretty interesting stuff from those tests. I'm glad people suggested them. For example, the most efficient prop at 150 grams of thrust looked like it was the carbon fiber prop, which didn't perform all that well on the maximum thrust test, but it was closely followed by the 6x4.5, which is a much bigger prop, but it was very, very close to the carbon fiber in terms of efficiency. So if you put 6-inch props on your quad, you're probably not going to lose any duration unless you actually thrash it. But I mean, hey, who's not going to thrash it? Um, Again, as expected, the bullnose props sort of worked out the worst there. They were quite a bit more, well, you know, 38 watts roughly versus, say, 33 for the Gemfan 5.3s. And the Gemfan 5.4s, they chewed a bit more power. The HQ 5.3 was interesting because it was actually right up there, 36 watts. That's a lot of power, so it's not a very efficient prop, the HQ 5x3. Looks like the gem fans, the little bendy plastic gem fans, are still pretty damn good. But if you want maximum flight times, you're going to go with the carbons. Hey, excellent. Okay, if you've got any more comments on this prop testing lark, I've got some more motors. This is going to be the start of the motor tests, and I've got other props. I'll be testing some 6-inch props, and we'll be running through the whole gambit of things because I've got my Hot Rod MXP230 there, which now has 1.4 kilowatts of power on it. It'll be interesting. Um, so I want to test out some props and things and see how they work in the real world, but uh, watch out. There'll be more of this motor testing, prop testing coming up. And if you've got suggestions, comments, recommendations, put them in the comments section below this video. I will do my best to address them and answer them. And if they're as good as the last lot of suggestions, I'll follow up on them. So thanks for watching. Time for me to get back to the bench. Bye for now.